open up, open up on the screen. Send them out, send them out. Welcome, girls. Grandma lines up as follows. Number one, Monica Samita. Number two, Braxton Sorensen McGee. Number five, Leo Songa. Number six, Faith Tavita. Number seven, Denise Martini. Number ten, Caitlin Sankoshul. Number eleven, Salenza Nelson. Number thirteen, Number 14, Anseline Gao. Number 18, Soraya Palipali. Number 20, Taylor Renee Masui. Number 29, Melissa Onehuni. Number 21, Messi Moala. Orphan Girls Grammar is coached by David Dewey and managed by Lily Stowers. So the team lists up for this, the Premier Girls Nines Grand Final. And uh, we'll let you read over those. Both teams pretty well as named. As the two sides going on to their pre-match huddle. So all set to go. Auckland Girls Grammar School versus Old Erty College with the Old Erty kicking off to the main stadium end here at Mount Smart number two. So into it we go for the SAS College Rugby League Premier Girls Nines Grand Final. And it is Ags on the ball, first up by Talenza Nelson. Fantastic crowd support, you may be picking some of that up on the audio. Ball comes loose, we've got an early kick. Chase on now from Ags, and they've got the numbers there. Loose ball. Well cleaned up in the end, but they're going to force her in goal.
Or no, they're not. They're going to rule tackled in the field of play. Old Eddie rucking the ball forward. Ten out from the line. And penalty up inside the ten. So old Eddie back into it. I mean the Ruckers. Film. Work it down the right. Strong carry there from the 10 full. Back into the middle of the park. A foo. Let's kick in behind. Chase on here for old Eddie. Was there a little bobble there? Won't matter, it's a handover anyway. Ags working the ball forward now, and Troy, there's a uh, familiar friend of the show, Braxton Sorensen McKee, the uh, daughter of Nicole. Of course, we called uh, her son, Drayden, Just on in, the uh, in action yeah. on the weekend there. Great to see uh, the Sorensen name out there. Yeah, absolutely, and uh, Braxton's a gun little player, and I expect she'll be one of their strike, weapon, strike weapons, and they'll have a number of them across the board with the Ags girls. Uh, they perform really well this season, and I know that they uh, have duties in clubs as well around Auckland. So, back to the action. Short side raid now from Samita. He's got a little half gap. Scrappy stuff from Ags. Ball spills it loose. And old Eddie now back on the football, looking to ruck this ball out. Four minutes gone here at Mount Smart number two. No score on the board yet. A very enthusiastic crowd behind both these teams. <laughs> Big strong carry. Lepale, still going Lepale. The offer. Fulu now running it back. A couple of good carries already in this game. Well, just as I say that, the ball comes loose, but I think that's a strip. Referee agrees. It's Maxine Gordonay who's got the middle today. Fulu. Afu. Afu with the show and the go. Taken down, 10 out from the line. Old Eddie hard on the attack now. Big strong carry, Samita did well with her first up contact. She's had a great start to this game. Need to get their line reset though here, Eggs. Back to you, 
In front of the Hayden and roll it upright. Burrow from dummy half. Sorensen McGee with a great tackle to deny the old Eddie try, which would have gone to Tolova'a. Strong carry, look at this. Staunch goal line defense though from Auckland girls. And a handover ball here now appeals that she threw the ball away. Good first up contact there from Samuelu. And ball comes loose, can be called a strip. Nice draw and pass. Streaking away down the right hand side now. Cleo Saonga breaking free. Cover coming across. They do well to recover it. Ball comes loose. Now, was that tackle complete? Play on the call so far from referee Godinay. They'll bring play back towards the middle of the park via Samita. Shakes out a one, shakes out a two, looking for an offload, but instead taking the ground. Now, referee Godinay said there's a high shot in here, I think. Tap and the go. Ags looking to draw first blood in this match. And will do so. Strong carry. It's Soraya Palipali who goes over. Nicely done in the end. And Troy, it comes after they endure a period up against their own line. A long range break down the right hand side and finished in style. Yeah, and we're just only seeing the back end of the excitement here from that long range attack and what beautiful leg motion was. Boy, she was striding out. She was going to go all the way, but basically set up for a fantastic try here. 18 showed enough strength here to get around and down just before that short in ball, uh, dead ball area there, but four points on the board. Hey, it's exciting rugby league, mate. Yeah, nice to see that. Good skill there with the draw on the pass that led to the long range break as we see Braxton Sorensen McGee to attempt the conversion from Smack Bam in front. It's all good. There you go. Auckland Girls Grammar 6, Old Eddie College nil, eight and a half gone here at Mount Smart number two. Yeah, and I think uh, young Braxton's mother will be up for a Prada bag there at least, maybe a Gucci bag. Come on, Mum, you have to give her a award. Boy, if we're hanging up designer handbags for conversions, what's going to happen when she scores? So, ready to get back underway now. Uh, you probably can't pick this up, but in the production headphones, the feedback from the crowd is just electric out there today. Fantastic support here for the girls. Yeah, it's the best part of Cold Rugby League, isn't it? You know, you remember these nights, there's been some grand finals, Kelsen v St. Paul's, where it feels like the stadium's almost shaking, there's that much energy in the place, so it's great to see. As we get back underway, and a driven kick, oh, that's clever. That is clever. And Ernst eggs the ball back. So straight back onto the attack now. So I'll try scorer Pali Pali who's going to restart play. Samita the dummy half. Sorensen McGee. Good carry. Leaves a couple on the ground. Now surely the tackle. No, the tackle was not complete. Oni Oni had other thoughts. Or was it? Okay, we'll go back and start that again. Masoi. Masoi still going. Samita. Samita! Too easy. Eyes up football. Monica Samita. Crosses for another one. Ten points to nil. Kick to come and a chance to make it 12. 
we have a quick look on the SAS Sporting Replay here. You can see she's gesturing. She's going to go right. But as Corey rightly said, it was a heads-up display. Eyes-up display. She looked there. Look at the big gap. Just bang. She knew she could get there in time. And a nice little try. Four points as we wait for uh, young Braxton Sorensen to take another strike at goal. And uh, Auckland's got the momentum at this point, mate. That one's good as well. Auckland girls ground a score, 12. Arari College, nil here in the SAS College Rugby League Premier Girls, nines grand final. So same kick off again from Sorensen McGee. This one's going to oh, take a more fortunate bounce, but straight into the hands of Eggs. Following a mistake, Samita now clears the ruck. Sorensen McGee show the go, and they play. They got the numbers here as Nelson puts the step on. Talenza Nelson runs in next third. Made it look all too easy in the end. Some nice playmaking in there from Braxton Sorensen McGee and then Talenza Nelson, who has played for the Auckland Vulcans previously. She just does really nicely here. You'll see the step off the leg and then from there into space. Beautifully done, Eggs. Yeah, nice set up ball there, right along the back line and just class finishing. And she splits the gap there. Wasn't too much needed for the outside support player there. Just went to bring it around, slipped over a little. And this will be probably one of the hardest kicks that uh, Braxton will have today. Straight as an arrow. Eggs 18. Old Eddie Nil is 13 gone here at Mount Smart number two. Sorensen McGee, <laughs> that was smartly done in the end. Hayley Liafa who stopped that ball from bouncing out. A change of pace, oh. Shocking pass. Through the middle now, old Eddie. The Pale it is. Still standing in the tackle. <laughs> Samita. Dishing out the punishment on that hit. Kick goes in behind. It's a scrappy one, which is fielded by Bushel. Danger of going. Up towards the sideline, throws the ball back in. Sorensen McGee. Oh, 
Pali. Mita here on. Oh, what about the strength from Samita? Ooh, it's a contact out there tonight. I don't even know who's got the ball at the end of that. I'll do if it merged with it. Masoi finds an offload. Charging towards the try line and over. We wait for confirmation from our referee. Liati Solomon appeal it is that crashes over. Ags on the board once again, and Troy, it's one way traffic out there. Absolutely, Ags on the board and uh, Ariri on the rack. Just a wave of attack after attack and um, strong running there. Managed to keep her on her feet to carry the defender across the line. Another four points. And we're at the 17 minute mark. Welcome girls, Graham up 22. Ariri, nil. As you wait for the kick to come. Johnson McGee on song again with the kicking. Another great conversion there by Auckland Girls Grammar number two for instance, Sorensen McGee. Well, Auckland Girls Grammar extending a lead out on Moreira College, 24 points to nil. Too long in the tackle on the end, flags up. Oh, touches almost pushed back into the crowd. <laughs> so, one more chance now for Eggs to hit before half time. Nelson, it's going to be that takes the tap, the play the ball, I should say. Martini to Song up. And balls come loose. They look like multiple players in that tackle. Play on is the call. No idea why we've got a trainer on the field as if he's playing the game. Dead set the blokes coaching. <laughs> he may as well join in on the game. Get off the field, trainer. Dear, oh dear. Song up. Samita. Nali. Siren sounds. To the sheds we go. It's X24. Aldi College nil. Short break for us before we resume with the second half action. Um, support the ambassador vest. You done a little bit of that yourself? Yeah, I have. Yeah, um, I think it's um, a really good idea. It um, keeps uh, you know people in line, I guess, on the sidelines, and uh, keeps people off the fields, gives the kids a go. And kids need um, you know come here and have a positive uh, thing happening, eh? Not uh, anything other than that. So uh, that really helps. 
do think it's a really great initiative. Um, I get to wear a really flash orange vest and um, just remind people that we're here to support and be kind and courteous and just make it a really nice and exciting and encouraging environment for the kids. So we wear the vest to check that the um, spectators behave themselves and not make any trouble. And do you think that the vest had an, uh, an impact on the kids' sports? Yes, definitely. The, the parents are more aware that there is people that are watching them. Do you oh. all have a turn wearing it, or is it um, one person that's designated each week? No, we, we all get a chance. Good enough. Okay. Do sports support bibs? Yes. Um, oh. Does that help you as a referee? Uh, yes. And it, it also helps if they um, like support it or sidelines up behind the ropes. So they don't get too close to the yard. And I can see um, somebody's putting a couple of vests on over here on the game you were just about to referee. Oh, yes. You think it's had a, uh, a good impact on the game with the kids? Oh, yes, absolutely. Uh, it controls the parents on the sidelines if they're getting too loud. Uh, but most parents are really, really good on the sideline. So, uh, and, it, and it makes it easier for the ref on the field to concentrate on this game. I'm here to support the Hau Kupuna Thunder Sevens. I'm uh, playing Otara here at the home, gr home ground. And uh, yeah, looking forward to it. What do you know about the orange vest? So um, we were told by our coach that um, each, each family has a turn wearing it every week. Um, we were told that just to control our side of the crowd, our supporters, and just making it um, fun for the little kids. So when they're playing, they don't see any um, craziness from the parents. Especially with the crowd supporting, they um, seeing this. Like, just personally from back when I was playing as a young boy, is a lot different. So um, it's definitely helped. It's about encouraging and empowering the kids to positive, a positive attitude throughout the whole um, game for our children and yeah I think it's a, a plays a very important role. How to stay in line and um, busy game. And uh, it's also for the parents as well, you know, I mean, it's not the NRL, you know, it's for, for the communities that come together and uh, more support, the better. 